Hey there YouTube, I'm Ikitsu, this is the Ikitsu Times, welcome to my channel, welcome to another episode of Surviving Mars and our way to in-depth guide. So we're at an interesting sort of point in the game, as we usually are, where we've got to worry about spillover for population. Um, I've rerouted some of the pipes and stuff so I can get a shuttle hub that's in between all of these different domes that's just able to reach all three of these at the same time, so it can service all three of them at the same time. Um, but in addition to this, we're at the point where we're, we're trying to do is make sure that we can continue growing our population relatively unabated. Uh, in addition to that, we're bringing in some more resources. Um, I don't necessarily want to get too crippled by the fact that we don't necessarily have uh, resources on the planet here, but um, we are going to run into some more problems as we continue along with that sort of thing. We're also building out to here because we need access to that concrete. But most importantly of all, we've got this new medium dome here, and this is going to give us tons and tons of room to continue growing our population. Um, right now, it is basically completely empty except for one little kid who has decided to move into here. I'm going to move him into this house here, actually the uh, nursery. It's going to make him um, still crazy because he's living in an entire dome by himself, but uh, you know, sometimes that's what you do, meter defense system, that's really nice actually. Um, I would actually really like to rush getting the meteor defense system because I don't want to get hit by a meteor. Um, but uh, in any event, you can see that we've uncovered quite a lot of the map and have uncovered quite a lot of different uh, little things that we can do. But most important of all, we're trying to just get everything to keep working and we're trying to make it so that our population can keep growing without things going catastrophically wrong. Now our population is also going to be collapsing soon. As you can see, we got loads and loads and loads of old people, and they're going to start all dying basically at once, because they're basically all the people we brought in in our first wave of colonization, uh, second wave, and all of that other stuff. We brought quite a few people over in a fairly compressed amount of time. They're all going to be leaving the workforce at basically the same time, um, which is obviously quite a bad ordeal. Um, at this point in time, we've built some of these uh, solar panels. The reason that you build solar panels at this point in time is because you consume way more electricity during the day than you do at nighttime. So it is a good idea to sort of do that whenever you can. Um, we are also bringing in way more polymers and uh, electronic parts, which are going to help out with uh, quite a lot of building more things like sterling generators. We are trying at this point in time to get our electronics and um, stuff like that built up faster, but yeah, it. it is an infrastructure that is kind of tricky. Let's go ahead and get this landed here. Let's get these probes out and see what we can find. At this point in time, I don't remember why I've deep scanned and why I haven't, so we're just going to sort of click over whatever and see what pops up here. Alright, that looks sort of like everything. I think that's new, actually. Sector scanned. All right, so that's all fine and dandy. Um, this thing coming in is gonna give us a bunch of extra um, machine parts and so on and so forth, which is quite nice. And at this point in time, we're also gonna go ahead and build ourselves a school, I think. Now we're going to make this our primary building then for uh, youngsters, but uh, more importantly, how are we doing here? Yeah, we've now got a bunch of uh, machine parts. I can probably go ahead and build one more of the sterling generators at this point in time, pretty safely. Just tuck that away in there. Drone's obviously having uh, load issues, but you know, that's perfectly fine right now. And I think we're also going to go ahead and get ourselves another drone hub out over here-ish. That seems fine. I'm going to need some supply depots here, just get a universal. Uh, I think we build it to there. And we're going to go ahead and disable a bunch of things. We don't need fuel here. We don't need electronic. We don't need any of the refined materials right now, really. I'm just going to selectively change that once we figure out what we're going to be building out here. But for now, we don't really need much on that. Just uh, metal and stuff for the concrete extractor that we're going to have to build here. And we will have to build a concrete extractor there. In the meantime, this dome seems to be doing very little, but that's no surprise. Let's go ahead and turn that on. Our electricity looking pretty okay at this point in time, but it does sort of fluctuate as to whether or not we're doing okay, depending on what I've got turned on. Like you can see that this um, amplify is not turned on right now, and when we do it sort of swings us back into the negatives, so I do want to keep that turned off for now. Keeps us into the bare positives. So yeah, we do need to focus on our sort of electricity generation right now. Our water and oxygen are actually okay for the time being. 
Although I've got access to another plant. I should probably switch out to fruit trees. And the reason that this is so good is because it increases the fertility of the soil while also producing as much per uh, harvest as potatoes. So these things are quite good. The other option that you get from the tech that I researched was corn. Um, the problem with corn is that it reduces the soil fertility, so you could alternate into corn. Um, it does take also quite a lot of water and stuff like that, but um, five days, 70 optimal harvest is really quite decent. Um, especially by contrast to the fruit trees, it's eight cells, so it's uh, 11 per day or something like that. This is quite a substantial boost to that. Quinoa, um, the nice thing about this is that it's very, very fast. It doesn't really consume very much water, so it's quite efficient um, in terms of speed. But all three of these, the quinoa, the corn, and the fruit trees are all substantially better than the base um, sort of growth. So I like fruit trees because I like hovering by that 100% efficiency. Um, but you can do whatever sort of you want there. I think we're at the point in time where I might want to do a, a, another open slot for the university there. Um, I'm going to go ahead and uh, decrease the importance of this one. I want all of the rare metals heading to this one so that we can send it off with uh, all of that at once. And uh, I'm assuming our little dudes are having a hard time keeping up with all the stuff I'm telling them to do here. That's fine though. Alright, so this is probably going to blow up my guy and I'm going to be really salty about that, but that's okay. Well, it's not, but I mean... Alright. In terms of tech, looks like we're about to get factory AI. Uh, we are definitely going to apply that right away to our uh, electronics factory. Looks like I need to cancel something. No, we got 12. That's enough. Um, could start making people work at night as well, but... Realistically speaking, that's going to be a bit tricky. Let's see here. Oh yeah, no, actually, I'm going to cancel that for now. I'm going to have to send in another, send in another wave of resources, probably. We gather here today to bid a oh. final farewell to one of our final. All right, so our first colonist who has died, um, died of old age, which is really good. If your people are dying of old age, this stops you from getting into a real terrible cascade that can happen in this game where people just die off and keep dying off at an accelerating rate. Half-buried sphere is revealed. Keep me up to speed on it. Oh, I think this is the um, quests chain. I think I accidentally unlocked it. Um, that's fine, though. I don't mind that. So, um, spheres is a mystery uh, event that I, I set this one to. I, I chose it because I haven't actually done it yet. In retrospect, I probably should have done one that I have done, but realistically speaking, all these story modes can be done through saves coming, so it's not really a huge deal. Alright, so how are we doing here on resources? Yeah, we got 10 electronics. Um, can spend some of those to make the factory AI upgrade, and I think we will. That should increase us up to like 8. Um, yeah, I think that will in increase us up to like 8. Um, Eight at a time or something like that. Oh god damn it. Is there a malfunctioning pipe again? Yeah, of course there is. Uh, it's in a place that I haven't fixed yet. Okay. You know what? I think we're just gonna live with that for now. Um, actually, no. I, I don't think we can. Okay. Valves over. Oops. There's no point in closing off that valve until we get this other stuff done, so... I just hate these... microing these valves so much. That's why we're getting the uh, tech that negates it. Uh, let's cancel that. Um, this doesn't actually connect to anything. Um, get that built there even though that sort of does screw me over a little bit but okay so we can now disable this line this line it's now traveling around this way oh well, this water screwed regardless actually I need to put a valve over here um I need to do that really god damn it I need to do up here, I think, is where that should get everywhere. Around that particular leak. I think that's getting it. Yeah, we no longer have the domes without water problem, at the very least. 
Oh boy. So yeah, we have got superior pipes in our text web here. We're actually researching it. It's gonna be a while before we get it though, so there is that problem. Okay. Yeah, that, that pipe burst is just so annoying. Anyway, let's go ahead and grab this guy. Let's get you to grab all this metal. Anomaly analyzed. Gain some science, that's good. All right. How are we doing here overall here? 10 electronics, and I think we've actually upgraded this already. So yeah, we're up to 7.8 per day now. So this is a pretty decent amount of efficiency. So the amount of electronics we're producing just much, much higher than it was before, uh, which is what we're aiming for here. I'm not sure if we're actually in positive positives yet. I'm not 100% sure as well why all of our food is being stockpiled over here. That's uh, just not really ideal, but whatever. Sometimes that's what happens. All right, and everything seems to be running pretty much okay here. We've got actually a person living here now, which is kind of interesting. One guy living in the infirmary all by himself, surrounded by little kids. So these people are all probably going to wind up with some very interesting quirks to their personalities, but, uh, you know, that's fine. At least they're not growing up there all by themselves anymore, <laughs> like I had them initially. That, was, that would have been pretty traumatizing, I'd imagine. I wonder if he has any uh, flaws. Let's, we should check to see if he has any debilitating flaws from being raised in a dome by himself with no one else. Because I'm pretty sure this is him. It's probably him. Let's see here. He's a workaholic, gambling uh, gambler, and he's a Martian-born. That's actually not that bad. He's done pretty good for himself. All right. So we got 156 food, and it's pleading pretty quickly, but that's fine. Alright, so we're at pretty much, I'm pretty happy with uh, launching Vega right now. Let's just send that off. So I would potentially like to send another shipment of um, colonists. We're going to probably eventually do the thing where this becomes a place where only children and old folks live. Um, and we won't have anything working in there. Um, I'm not 100% sure if that's the best way to do things, but that is how we're going to be doing things. Ooh, a breakthrough tech up there. Okay, that's pretty good. But, um, yeah, largely speaking, um, we still have a little bit of room left, though. Um, a little bit of time left before we really need to start moving people into that one, um, dome. In fact, like, we're going to, broadly speaking, probably send our next shipment of people into these domes uh, just so that they're filled out, and more importantly, so that these work environments are filled out. Um, I probably actually can do a an increase to this. I think that won't screw me over too badly. Oh, wow. Research amplification, yes. Uh, STEM reconstruction is not that important, but... Um, if I recall correctly, STEM reconstructions up here. I think that makes it so that they live longer. Retirement age and death from old age happen later in the colonist's lifespan. Okay, so that would be both. Um, so that would actually be pretty good for us. Um, other than that, though, research amplification. Um, I would really like that, actually. So let's go research amplification uh, next up. That would be pretty good. We need to leave this spot open, unfortunately, so I can't put a research uh, facility in there. Could put the small research facility in here though. Not sure if that's a good idea or not. Could also put arcologies in um, and end up with even more people living there. Hmm. Not sure if I want to do either of those things though. All right. Yeah, so we're up to 15 electronics. So we're in a pretty decent supply of uh, positive electronic parts production. So we can go ahead and build this now. Uh, I do need to do it eventually just to get at this concrete here. Um, all right, so you head back home. But, uh, yeah, how's this place doing here? We should be getting more and more people living in here. Uh, we'll eventually need the Martian-born University down here, which is pretty okay. And we'll also probably want to put a farm down there, just because it not only increases the comfort, but it also does, you know, a bunch of other little things. 
to help out. These people can't actually do anything down here, I just realized. So let's go ahead and build some statues uh, for now, the very minimum. Let's go ahead and get Grocer. I mean, there's not enough people living in here to actually fulfill these needs anyway. So uh, I don't know what they're actually going to do as far as that goes, but... Uh, uh, you know what, grow, grocer and whatever is fine right now, I think. Actually, no, we need probably... What else do we need here? Probably a diner. We'll try and get some more people to move down here pretty quickly, but at the very least, those statues will provide them something to sit around. Alright, so... Um, yeah, like, this is a bit of a tricky dome to fill in. It's kind of weird that people are moving into it this early, um, because we haven't really done a whole ton to make this place uh, habitable, and we still have slots elsewhere. Usually this, they sort of move to other places, but... Um, yeah, it seems pretty much fine as, as, it, as it is. Um, once we get more stuff built, I'm going to build actually another drone. Uh, or another shuttle hub uh, so that people can sort of move in and out of this place and potentially get up to here. These things are actually super, super useful, but they kind of also blow through all the fuel for no good reason. Um, go ahead, get another past rocket potentially. No, it looks like we're not getting a past rocket right now. It's a bit unfortunate. I could open up more flaws again, I suppose. One of the things I've done is I've actually made it so that uh, quite a few flaws are cut off again. So we could go ahead and back into the flaws tab and make it so that people with, say, chronic conditions can come back again here and potentially, say, gamblers again since we don't have any gambling. Oh, okay. Uh, hypochondriacs? Melancholic hypochondriacs? So yeah, okay, we could get that. Sure, why not? It's always a good idea to get as many people as possible into these uh, colonies here. There is a challenge where people are doing it where they send like one rocket full of people, but honestly speaking, I don't find those kinds of challenges very fun personally. Just just my personal preference, but all right, just about got that done. We can now start working on fruit trees here. The one problem with fruit trees is if you don't have a lot of food, they're not going to help you out uh, at all. Alright, got those soybeans done. Let's go ahead and switch to fruit trees again. Or switch to fruit trees, rather. So this will not only produce tons and tons of food, but it'll also be uh, really, really good in terms of just getting us lots of, uh, of um, fertility as well. So it's a good combination. We have a water okay, shortage. I... Malfunctioning pipes, god damn you. Where? Okay. Oh, shoot, I don't have the uh, proper... Okay, so... Um... Let's just also do this uh, over here. Okay, that should be, should be largely fine, I guess. Uh, open that up there. Yeah, this is not going to go super, super well for me. Um, close that off there. There we go. This is the part of the game where, like, your constantly malfunctioning pipes are going to make you cry. That's uh, where we're at at this game. Okay. Seven metal over there. Eighteen. Just trying to find surface nodes again. There's 126 surface metal over here, so... You know, we're going to go ahead and definitely grab all that. All right. Research complete. Let's bring you down to here. Sustainable architecture. So we're going to have a lot less stuff breaking down. It's all still going to break down, of course, but it's just gonna, it's going to take longer. Um, creative disposition, art workshop, good. Uh, that's take that takes way too long. Um, research amplification is still worth it, even though it's going to take a billion years to finish. Let's go ahead and get nocturnal adaptation, just as a real quick sort of thing there, just because I want to fill out the number of texts that I'm doing. Uh, let's go ahead and also get our concrete Resources extractor. Yeah, we're actually low on concrete right now. Is that a sphere? Mirror sphere. Huh. 
All right, why don't we try and do our quest thingy here? Um, so this will be an interesting experience for both you and me. But yeah, let's get that concrete up and running real fast. Uh, I don't need a universal, I need a concrete depot and a dumping site. Yeah, drones are still working hard, that's good. Just not enough people down there to work all the buildings that I've got, which is fine. It's kind of what we have uh, going on there. There's more to the barren environs of the red planet. Tribal electric scrubbing. Tribal electric scrubbing is actually quite nice. The only problem is it's a very expensive tech. So one of the things I'm surprised by is the fact that I have not even revealed any wonders. Ooh, waste rock liquef uh, liquefaction. This is a really good tech uh, to get it soon. Um, we'll work on it pretty soon. Work on it potentially next, I think. Uh, what that does, it turns all this waste rocket we got lying around into concrete. So, super, super useful tech. Let's get you guys down there. They'll move to wherever um, around. Doesn't matter to me which place they move into, really. Looks like we're doing pretty well, though, in terms of just having everything filled in. So, hopefully we've got every single place here filled. Vacant work slots still five. This place is one vacant work slot. Six unemployed people here and four vacant residential slots. Interesting. Right, so what we're going to probably want to do to respond to that is sufficient fuel. Interesting. There's plenty of fuel over there. Um, we're probably going to want to respond to this uh, situation here just by opening up another work slot in one of our uh, businesses here. So probably going to be, it's probably just going to have to be this. We're not going to have the um, full, full, uh, whatever, but should get rid of the unemployed. Not sure why they're still in that uh, situation here. Should drop pretty quickly here as people move into this building here. Um, gonna up prioritize the Martian University here. I do want that repaired pretty quickly. All right, let's keep uh, exploring. Lots of just little things that you need to do constantly. Why are this is why is this not getting repaired? Do I not have uh, enough electronics? I do. Interesting. Okay. Disabled work slots, seven vacant work slots, blah, blah, blah. Even work slots and vacant work slots, one. Okay, good. We've actually got everyone working. So probably just going to have... Um, I could actually cut down the number of people working at the night shift, but it doesn't really matter that much. Like, the thing is that since we have nocturnal ad ad adaptation coming in, we are eventually going to want to have everyone working at night, uh, which is a bit weird, I know, but... Uh, it is going to be stressful for them, though, which is not ideal. Are we still low on concrete? Yes, we are still low on concrete. Can we get this uh, up prioritized? I'm guessing what's happening here is that this is not... Actually, I need machine parts down here. Okay. So that should, uh, should be able to fix that up pretty quickly, then. And we're low on electronics again. Good. Good. How could we possibly be low on electronics? Look how many people are working here. Oh god. Okay. Getting 8.3 uh, of them per day. 8.7. Jumps around quite a bit. Concrete is the one that I'm really quite quite sure is going to screw me over though. Alright. Get working concrete thing. Could actually increase the productivity of that by a little bit, but I don't think we need to right now. But yeah, like, that thing not being repaired is not great. Right, let's get another shuttle. Do we have enough, uh, 17 electronics? Yeah, we've got enough. Okay, let's get a shuttle hub down here. 
And we're building it down here just because I figure that we're probably going to get a dome down here once we get oval domes uh, researched and stuff like that. Deep metal extraction, finally. Moisture farming, also finally. Alright. New anomaly, it's uh, probably meteor strikes I'm guessing. All right, we just book out the whole map, uh, researched by day 70, so we're getting pretty close. Interesting. It will be interesting to see what that actually does. I'm, I'm going to be honest with you, it will be nice to see what that actually does. All right, got our concrete back online. Things seem to be jumping um, as far as that goes. Yeah, so we're we're just gonna need to have this uh, start working and all the stuff to get shuttled down. It's gonna be a long distance uh, thing. I mean, I could just get these tiny bits of scraps of uh, concrete down here, but don't think it's necessarily that worth it. Oh, out of rare metals. What we need to do is stop shipping it. So we'll send that. We'll send. Uh, just uh, deprioritize that over there. So hopefully we'll get uh, some more rare metals into this building pretty quickly. I guess that's why it was better to have it on full uh, full demand here. I guess we'll put it back on that and just uh, stop a couple of the uh, slots here. There we go, like that, maybe. I don't know. Seems fine. Uh, yeah, let's go ahead and amplify that, see what we're up to for power. Minus 18. Okay, so not that. Let's do these upgrades, though. Oh, we do not have enough electronic parts for that. Um, okay, so we'll turn that off. Turn that off. Um, yeah, it is really just electronic parts. Still needs, uh, still need tons of. Damage. God damn it! Really? There's so much food over here. What the hell is wrong with you people? So I'm really confused as to why they keep moving all the food away from here. The food is also within range of this place. Uh, there's probably some explanation, but I have not for the life of me been able to figure out what exactly the AI does in terms of deciding where stuff gets distributed. It's really strange. It really is. Okay, so one of them's in that building, one of them's in that building, and they both probably live in this one, so... That's my guess, anyway. Should be okay there. Uh, let's go grab that. So they'll be able to go back and get their food and be fine. It's just really weird that I have to keep doing that. Yeah, I'm aware that we are low on concrete. Thanks, game. All right, so this place is filling out a little bit here, so let's go ahead and... Well, actually, we'll probably call it an episode here. I'm not doing too, too much right now. That's that important, in all honesty. Um, we're just trying to get everything sort of done um, and set up the way we need it to. But oh, looks like I need to also allow electronics. I can... Denying machine parts. This is just actually that uses machine parts. Crap. Okay. So I guess we just need the whole sort of lot of these things. But uh, yeah, that's going to be our episode for today. Hope you found it enjoyable. It's not too much what we're doing too right now. That's really that specific. That's easy to sort of define or categorize what we're doing. But we're realistically just continuing to expand outwards. Expanding outwards gets us more science. It allows us to deal with a lot of problems. The one major thing that's kind of weird that's going on now is that all of our people are getting old, and that means that more and more people are going to be useless, dead weight sort of things. And, you know, it's kind of unfortunate that that's sort of the way things happen, but, you know, that is life, as it were. You do have to figure out ways around that. Um, could try and send another passenger rocket. No. So, yeah. Um, we are going to find uh, sort of our way to get to where we need to be. But in any event, uh, yeah, hope you found this episode enjoyable, and of course, as always, hope to see you guys all next time.